Matt Williamson picking up the win. Billy Dunn coming home in second. Tim Seegers Jr. third. Matt Shepard fourth. And Anthony Perego finishing in fifth. Sixth is Tim Fuller. Seventh, Jack Laner. Eighth, Felix Waugh. Ninth, Alex Payne. Tenth, Darren Smith. Mike Mahaney finished 11th. Billy Decker 12th. Jimmy Phelps 13th. Peter Britton 14th. Zach Payne 15th. And it's Mike Troutschild 16th. Sean Shaw 17th. Justin Stone 18th, Danny Johnson 19th, Derek Webb 20th, Ryan Bartlett 21st, Jeff Taylor 22nd, Tyler Meeks 23rd, Larry White 24th, Daniel Johnson 25th, Jackson Gill 26th, and Marcus Dinkins 27th. So congratulations to Matt Williamson's 7th win on the Super Dirt Car Series in 2024 and 29th of his career, breaking the tie with the sensational one, Jimmy Horton, for 10th all-time. So the Lush U Chevrolet team going to celebrate down there trackside and want to thank all the fans here on behalf of the Super Dirt Car Series for making your way out here tonight. And, Tim, it's not even 9 o'clock yet. Oh, isn't it just awesome? That is. It is great. That is. But next, we still got two more feature events to come your way as our Dirt Car Sportsman Series feature will right. be coming your way in this one. Cody McPherson with the point lead. And once all the bonus points got put all together between the home track bonus points and the regional bonus points, he now has a commanding lead in the series standings. Yeah, 80 some points to the good right now is uh, that's that's pretty hefty right now, especially uh, before Super Dirt Week, where he has won before. And he is the all-time winningest driver in Sportsman Series competition for a reason. Absolutely. And about five or six wins overall across in Dirt Car with uh, Sportsman wins. Brad Rouse at 137, Cody at 131 right now. That could happen before the year's over with still a lot of racing left. We talked about that earlier this year, and the all-time single-season win record for a dirt car sportsman is at 31. Ooh, interesting. So, again, congratulations here. Victory Lane just finishing up. Congratulations to the Buzz Chew Chevrolet team as the crew members going to make their way across to the flag stand as... The crew chief spot with the trophy as he makes his way across down here in front of the flag stand. Gives a little wave up there as congratulations to them once again on their seventh win of 2024. As Rich Black will send it back down trackside to you. 50-50 ticket, blue ticket, $800, blue ticket, 769-480. Let's see how the focus, ah, that's awful. 769-480, blue ticket, $800 going your way back up to you guys. Well, thank you, Rich, as we get ready. Sportsman coming on to the Speedway next. Tim Baltz will send it back to you. Thank you very much, Mike Warren. And, again, a bang-up job once again by the Super Dirt Car Series team. They knocked off another great event here at the K&M Speedway and yet another one on the tour this year. Albany, Saratoga is the next stop for the series. Right now, the Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour is on track and Taylor Dockstader going from the pole and the two from Philadelphia with the 33 of Richard Murtaugh alongside. Row two at Shane Pecor in the zero with the 34 of Eric Nyer. Row number three, the 03 Josh Jock with the 64 Tyler Corcoran. Row number four, Mike Fowler in the 410 with Gavin Isley in the 18 Row 5, Kyle Devendorf in the 5K with a 35B of Brendan Moore. Row 6, it's Nick Root in the 30 with a 17N of Owen Nyer. Row number 7, Fox 28 of Tyler Stevenson with the 89 of Dylan Manson. Row number 8, the 9 of Logan Brown in the 54, Brady Howard. Row 9, Ryan Shanahan, the 32RS with a 7 of Cody McPherson. Row 10, Josh Riom, the 91 with a 4 of Emmett Waldron. Row number 11, Last Chance Showdown winner Jessica Power in the 52 with Last Chance Showdown winner number 2, Greg Brinkler to the outside in the 707. Row number 12, the 35D of Dylan Moore with the 1D of Paul DeRutter. Row 13, Zach Sabaka in the 38 with the 18H of Brian Harper. Row number 14, the 15 of Adam Leslie and the 6 of Cody Manita. Final row, the 16X of Savannah LaFleur and the 21 of Ryan Barrett. will complete it. 30 drivers for 30 laps with the Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour. We are ready to go racing. Chief starter Mike LeClaire is not wasting any time. We're going white, this time by green. Next trip around. Taylor Dockstader got his first career sportsman win right here at can -Am earlier this season. Would love to add a series win to his credit, but look at the competition behind him. Richard Murtaugh alongside Shane Pecor, former series champion in 2016. Eric Nyer just got his first ever Can-Am win as well. While we got a little bit of a moment here, 
Want to send a special shout out to our own videographer here at Can-Am, Chris Marcinko, watching from home. Chris, we hope you're doing well, enjoying time with the family here tonight, and watching live on Dirt Vision at Can-Am. We are set to go green very shortly. As the Dirt Car Sportsman Series drivers will assemble in one of the best formations in all of motorsports right here. The next time by, we want you to wave to the crowd, wave to them, send them on their way as the Dirt Car Sportsman Series will be back around here. To salute you, the great race fans here at the Can-Am Speedway. for the Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour. 40 drivers came with hopes of starting the Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour event tonight. And these 30 made the program. And they will assemble four wide for you down the back straight away as the Dirt Car Sportsman Series rolls around into turn number three and four. Ladies and gentlemen here at Can-Am, from turn number four all the way down to turn number one and even into the pavilion down there, stand up, send them on their way, ladies and gentlemen. How about it? Get up on your feet, get those cell phones out, send them on their way. It's the Dirt Car Sportsman Series. Now they break off into a two by two formation down the back straightaway. And we will be at full song. Next trip by white flag is in the air from Chief Starter Mike LeClaire. Two drivers at the front of the field. One has a Dirt Car Sportsman Series win. The other one still looking for his first. Richard Murtaugh got one a year ago at the Weed Sport Speedway. Remember that epic battle he had with Emmett Waldron to the checkered flag at the port. He'd like to run away and hide from the field tonight, but Shane Pecor, Eric Nyer, Josh Jock, Tyler Corkin, they got other ideas, as does Mike Fowler, a track champion. Gavin Isley is in the thick of the battle. Kyle Demendorf, Brenda Moore, they all got a shot. The Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour is green at can -Am. Quickly through one and two and down the back straightaway, Richard Murtaugh in pursuit of his second career tour win. Holds the lead, Taylor Dockstader, Shane Picor, Eric Nyer, the top four. They're side by side for fifth with Josh Jock of the 64 of Tyler Corcoran. Down across the line, three wide for the five spot. Mike Fowler going towards the front. He pulls the slider on Jock. He'll pick up the number five position. Tyler Corcoran, Gavin Isley looking to make up some spots on the top side as well as Corcoran will now get fifth. Into turn number three and four. Your leader is Richard Bertot. Taylor Dockstader still there in spot number two. Third is Pecor, Nyer still fourth. Tyler Corcoran, who won a Dirt Car Sportsman Series race here earlier in the year at Can-Am, holding on to spot number five at the moment as he battles with current track champion Mike Fowler down the back straightaway. Gavin Isley still back there in spot number seven. Josh Jock is eighth. Brendan Moore in ninth. Battle is on for tenth between Nick Root and Kyle Devendorf. Root will get the spot coming down the front straightaway as the Brewerton track champion goes up into the top ten for the first time tonight. Right now, we mentioned Richard Murtaugh looking for that second career series win. And my thoughts were he wanted to get out front, run away, and hide. Well, apparently he's been listening to me as he's got a big lead right now over the rest of the field. Four down, 26 to go. Pecor has finally cleared Taylor Dockstader for the two spot at the moment. Eric Nyer still back there in fourth. Tyler Corcoran working that outside lane with Mike Fowler there to the inside lane in sixth. Gavin Isley 
has found the outside lane to his liking in the early laps as he battles with Fowler for position number seven on the speedway. Down across the line this time by Eric Nyer looking to go up one more spot and he does just that. Eric Nyer, he'll move it up into spot number three right now as he exit turn number two and down the back straightaway with Richard Murtaugh in big command of this field right now as they head up into turn number three and four and back down to the line. Murtaugh in control. Big gap between himself and the rest of the field here. About a two-second spread between him and Shane Pecor right now. Eric Dyer off of his first career win a couple of weeks ago, holding on to spot number three. Tyler Corcoran quickly moving in on the battle for the top three positions here as we work at lap number seven of this 30-lap feature for the Dirt Car Sportsman Series. No problem so far for Richard Murtaugh. Fulton, New York native, straightaway advantage almost as they hit the back straightaway. About a half a straightaway is the advantage over Pecor. Eric Dyer has been able to fend off any advances from the 64 of Tyler Corcoran as Nyer is actually closing in on Shane Pecor for position number two as they hit down the front straightaway, working lap number eight of this 30 lap contest. Big lead still for the 33 of Marta. Pecor, Nyer, and the 64 of Corcoran. Taylor Dockstader, very impressive run for the Philadelphia, New York native, holding on to spot number five. Gavin Isley in the thick of the battle for the Dirt Car Sportsman Series Championship as they work into turn number one and two. And Gavin Isley now up into the top five. Isley, three straight top five finishes to start the championship tour as they work into turn number three and four and back down to the line. Keep in mind, points leader Cody McPherson is mired in traffic right now. He's working in position number 18 on the racetrack and that is good news for Gavin Isley. Not so good news for drivers like Cody McPherson. Zach Sabaka also held up in traffic here as they work in lap number 10. We're one third of the way through this contest. Lap number 11 goes up on the board and Murtaugh continuing to extend that lead. This has been domination here for the 33 of Murtaugh at this point. Richard, of course, competed here on a semi-regular basis. Machine Pecor holding on to second. He's going to have some company in just a few short laps as Tyler Corcoran has been patient on that outside lane. Been slowly nipping at the heels of Shane Pecor. He's been picking cars off one at a time as him and Gavin Isley. Working that outside lane, Eric Dyer content to run around the bottom in spot number four. Isley still fifth. Taylor Dockstader back to the sixth spot, getting some pressure from the 03 of Josh Jock right now. Track champion Mike Fowler is eighth. Brendan Moore ninth. Tyler Stevenson had of a solid run here tonight as well as he holds on to the number 10 position. Owen Nyer holding on to spot number 11. A good run for the Carthage native. Nick Root is 12th. Dylan Manson 13th. Ryan Shanahan 14th. Kyle Devendorf 15th. Logan Brown 16th. Josh Rion, Cody McPherson, Emmett Waldron, Jessica Power, 20th, Zach Sabaka, 21st, Brady Howard, Greg Brinklow, Ryan Barrett, Paul DeRutter, 25th, Dylan Moore, Adam Leslie, Cody Manita, Brian Harbour, and Savannah LaFlair is your current running order as we work at the halfway point next time by Richard Murtaugh is now going to work into lap traffic. He'll close in on the 16 of Savannah LaFlair, trying to put her one lap or one down to the lap counter here. As they work in lap 15, we're halfway home. Tyler Corcoran has had a stout race car. Working that outside lane perfectly as they head up into turn number one and two and down the back straightaway. Lap number 16 will be up on the leaderboard this time by and Richard Murtaugh cutting through the lap traffic rather cleanly as they exit turn four and down the front straightaway. He'll close, he'll close in on the Brian Harbor number 18 right and get by him with no problem. Cody Manita, the 2024 Fulton Speedway track champion, struggling mightily here tonight. Mired in traffic all night long, has not had the best handling race car, but Richard Murtaugh definitely has had the best car all evening as he worked in lap number 17. We got 13 laps left to go. Tyler Corcoran still second. Shane Pecor was in danger of losing that third spot from Eric Nyer. Now it looks like he has broken away and is closing in on Tyler Corcoran to try to get second back as they motor into turn number three and four. Pecor on the inside lane. Tyler Corcoran on the top side. Drag race down the front straightaway and give the second spot to Pecor. He uses the pick and roll to get by posi for position number two. Corcoran 
Settles in the third. Eric Dyer, Gavin Isley, that's your top five at the moment. Josh Jock having a stout run as well as he continues to ride in position number six as the uh, 33 at Murtaugh continues to show the way. Dominated from the drop of the green flag here tonight. Almost three seconds is the spread between the top two drivers. Gene Pecor has cleared Tyler Corkin and it looks like he may have found some speed out there in that next level home improvement zero ride. As he comes back down to the line, we'll have 19 on the board, 20 on the board. We got 10 to go. 10 laps remaining. And the 33 of Richard Murtaugh still with a comfortable advantage. Pecor, not much he can do about it right now. He's going to have to hope that Richard Murtaugh gets held up in traffic. And maybe he can catch the leader going through the, through the speedway here. We'll have to find out, though. Nine laps left to go, and it's still Richard Murtaugh well in control. Murtaugh just cleared Ryan Barrett. So now four cars between him and Shane Pecor for the race lead as they enter into turn number three and four and back down to the line this time by Shane Pecor still holding on to second. Tyler Corcoran has dropped into the inside lane. He gets into the tire tracks of Pecor into turn number one and two. Corcoran going to go through the middle, at least give it a shot that time. Couldn't quite get there. Pecor slips up off the bottom. Here comes Tyler Corcoran trying to get second back as they head up into turn number three and the four-time track champion battling former Dirt Car Sportsman Series champion Gene Pecor for the number two position. Eric Nyer getting in on the battle as well. Gavin Isley watches from the five spot as they work in turn number one and two and down the back straightaway. Six laps to go when they come back to the stripe for Richard Murtaugh this time by. We'll watch this battle for second. It's a good one. Pecor has it. Tyler Corcoran, Eric Dyer, they're trying to take it away from him. Pecor has got to go way wide to get around the lap car as Ryan, or excuse me, Cody Manita right there in front of him. Manita's going to drop it to the bottom. That opens the gates for Shane Pecor to get through. He's going to try it up off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. And Pecor does get the advantage down the back stretch. 64 at Corcoran. He's going to try to step it up to the high lane. Thinks better of it. Holds on to position number three on the bottom lane. And here comes Eric Dyer. Found the running room he was looking for. Eric Dyer moving up into a podium spot here. As he work a lap 25 with five laps left to go. 25 down, five laps left to go. And Richard Murtaugh has been dominant here. One win with the Dirt Car Sportsman Series. That came during Super Dirt Week. Last year at the Weed Sport Speedway, Murtaugh trying to add a second career win. Gene Pecor trying to deny that, but he's got a long way to go. It's a straightaway lead now for Richard Murtaugh. Four and a half seconds is the spread between himself and Gene Pecor. Back to the line, three to go for Richard Murtaugh. Pecor still second as he's cleared the traffic, and so is Eric Nyer. Nyer picked up his first career win here at can -AM one week ago. He's trying to get by Shane Pecor for the runner-up spot as they head down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Two laps left to go, and Richard Murtaugh trying to take it home. But two laps to go is a long way here at can -AM. Shane Pecor still second, Eric Dyer still third, Gavin Isley has gotten around Tyler Corker who seems to be fading just a little bit of this one. He may have burnt up that right rear Hoosier racing tire as they come back down to the line this time by white flag. We got caution on the racetrack, yellow lights are on. And this is going to set up a two lap shootout to the finish, exactly what Eric Dyer and Gavin Isley wanted to see as Ryan Barrett slows with a problem in the outside of turn number four here. 28 straight laps, we were green. And Richard Murtaugh was on cruise control. Now he's gonna have to get up on the wheel and fend off a former series champion and a guy who's got a lot of momentum on his side with Eric Nyer after that first career win a week ago. So Ryan Barrett gets the car refired. He'll tag on to the end of the field here. Shane Pecor holding on a second right now. 11 career series wins for Shane Pecor. Tied for fifth all time with Tim Hindley and the flying squirrel Rocky Warner. 
Shooting for career win number 12. Eric Nyer has never won a Dirt Car Sportsman Series race. Wouldn't that be something if you get your first two career wins, one being a regular show and another one a Dirt Car Sportsman Tour win? Pretty impressive stuff. He's got a ways to go to get that done. Gavin Isley doing what he has to do in order to stay atop into the thick of the battle for this championship. Zach Sabaka, Cody McPherson, been mired in traffic all race long, have not moved really from where they started. McPherson's up to 17th. Zach Sabaka buried in 20th position right now. Sabaka started 25th. Cody McPherson has moved up three spots. So we'll see how this all shakes out. So unofficially, it's Richard Murtaugh, the race leader. Shane Pecor second, Eric Dyer third, Gavin Isley fourth, Tyler Corcoran fifth. Josh Dock is up to position number six, having a really strong night here tonight. The Hogansburg native running well. Brendan Moore seventh, Mike Fowler is eighth, ninth is Taylor Dockstader, the pole sitter, and tenth is Tyler Stevenson. Owen Dyer is eleventh unofficially, twelfth is Nick Root, thirteenth Ryan Shanahan, 14th, Dylan Madsen, 15th, Kyle Devendorf, 16th, Logan Brown, 17th is Cody McPherson, Josh Riom, 18th, Jessica Power, 19th, Zach Sabaka, 20th, Emmett Waldron, 21st, Brady Howard, 22nd, Greg Brinklow, 23rd, Paul DeRutter, 24th, Dylan Moore, 25th, Cody Benita, 26th, Adam Leslie, 27th, Savannah LaFlair, 28th, Brian Harbour, 29th, Ryan Barrett off the racetrack in 30th. 29 of the 30 starters on the racetrack and all of them are on the lead lap. We are going to go white green this time or next time by double file restart. Does Richard Murtaugh have enough to hold on? We're about ready to find out Team Pete Gore will line up on the outside. Eric Nyer holding on to third right now. Gavin Isley fourth. Tyler Corcoran trying to cool those tires off and give a one last shot. The Dirt Car Sportsman Championship Tour. Nail biting time. Off of turn number four. Green lights back on. And Murtaugh and Pecor side by side for the lead. Pecor leans on the 33 of Murtaugh to turn number one. Eric Nyer has the bottom lane. Here comes Eric Nyer for the lead. Down the back straightaway. Three wide for the top spot. As they head up into turn number three and four. Eric Nyer to the point. Pecor going to drive it to the top side. Off of turn number four. White flag in the air this time by. Eric Nyer leads the way. Into turn number one and two, Shane Pecor's got that car plinked on the top side of the racetrack. Eric Nyer right there with him, drag race down the back straightaway, final time. Into turn number three and four, Pecor drives it to the top lane. Eric Nyer keeps it plinked on the bottom. Who's it going to be? Down to the line, Eric Nyer has done it! Oh. First career win, Mike, and he finally got it a week ago, and now he's got his first tour win. Kind of reminds me of that finish a few years ago with Connor Cleveland, the late Kyle Inman, and Kevin Root when they all came three wide to the checkered flag. Yep, absolutely. Big deal here for Eric Nyer in victory lane, and Rich Fleck is down there trackside. Rich, I got to tell you, this is going to be something emotional. Look at the fans pouring out onto the racetrack in support of Eric Nyer. That's saying it all right there. This uh, wild emotion ready to unfurl here in victory lane, getting the Hoosier neckband on and ready to climb out. Eric Nyer able to claim the Sportsman Series event. Gets the congratulations, the checkered flag. Just needs the applause from the Can-Am crowd. Climbing out as the winner of the 30 lap feature event, Eric Nyer. Jubilation, to put it mildly, as he will spin around and we'll talk to the winner of our Sportsman Feature event, 
Eric Nyer will put you in front with this trophy. You've got the checkered flag. You had one of them last week. How much better is this one here tonight? This means a lot with all the good, the fast guys in town. Well, you know this track a little bit better, second in points here this season. How critical was it using your track knowledge on that restart with one lap to go? I went into one and they slid up and gave the bottom hope it was open. Did you feel like when that yellow came out with a lap left, you're like, okay, I got a shot again? Yep. And it, it clearly worked out. You were able to get it. How about battling with Shane Pecor on the final lap? Just amazing. Tell me about some of the people helping you to get here. Uh, my family, we got a ton of sponsors, Joe Cook, uh, Natasha's Kitty Shack Daycare, Josh Minnick, uh, Jason Cullen, his boy, just a ton of people. Soak this one in, winner of the Sportsman Series event, Eric Nyer.